Hi there, welcome to the I Ching Cafe. My name is Belinda Dubston and here we are, the first full weekly episode of the I Ching Wisdom for us for the week commencing the 4th of March 2024. Before we get into this week, last week we had that very commanding energy of working on what has been spoiled, hexagram 18, asking us to roll up our sleeves, get into the garden, get rid of the weeds, do the work of the hot midday sun of creating order, all right, wherever there is chaos and crisis, it's creating order and structure and tidying things up, getting the house in order. And all those changing lines we had last week, we had lots of action where we were being asked to address issues that we had left behind, focusing on what it is that we need to be, and really working with overcoming areas of corruption within our life, businesses, and teams. Plus, working with deliverance, overcoming something, recognizing where we have overcome something significant, all right, where we have arrived at a place of safety after a big challenge. So for you, what were some of the insights that came up for you? It was a very intense week. Lots of things going on. And yes, that energy of deliverance. Ooh, okay, yes. Actually, we got through that. We got through something really, really big. And we got somewhere because we focused on it. Now, this week, as we focus on the first full week of March 2024, our first hexagram is hexagram 14, possession of greatness or possession of great measure. This is the abundance hexagram. Okay. It's abundance and it's wealth, not just financial wealth, gold bars, but recognizing where we have wealth within our consciousness, within our lives, within our network, our families, and within our teams. It's an energy that allows us to tap into overcoming our poverty consciousness, getting into that abundance consciousness, recognizing where we have some areas that we need to heal and really releasing them and stepping into the opportunity. I affirm for all of us that there's an amazing opportunity that presents itself this week and that we take it and we work with it and we just are so excited about the opportunity to give and create wealth with others. Wealth, obviously, financial wealth, let's affirm those gold bars arrive, but of course can be many different levels of wealth. Wherever we are needing to work with this idea of abundance and prosperity, whatever level of our consciousness we're needing, this week, the energy is there to make some amazing progress in overcoming that. So as we work with that energy of abundance, we also realize that as we achieve something, it gives us the opportunity to give that back to others, not by giving them stuff and doing handouts, but showing them the path. So this hexagram is very much about encouraging us to give back to others as we get the can. As we learn something, as we experience wealth, finding ways of sharing that with others, sharing the path, sharing the learning, sharing the how, showing others that it's possible. Okay, on whatever level of wealth this applies, very strong sense of responsibility that comes with this hexagram to not only enjoy the fruits of our labors, but to show others how they can achieve that same abundance. One changing line, sixth position. This is a line of blessings, okay? Blessings, 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 all right? We have achieved a blessing. We have achieved a birth of a new destiny because we've stayed humble and we've stayed in principle and we've been committed and we've been working at it and we've been putting ourselves behind what it is we're here to do. Somewhere in our lives, the blessing is activated wherever we are humble and committed and focused Nothing can stop this blessing from coming to us this week or being made conscious to us this week where that blessing is. Nothing can stop it. And it really talks about this idea of a birth of a new destiny that will affect us for generations to come. That sounds very grandiose. So let's see what happens to us as we work through this week. What is that blessing that suddenly we become aware of? Perhaps we just become aware that the blessing was there. Perhaps something new comes in, but there's something around a birth of a new destiny, an unfoldment of something new in our prosperity that opens up a new phase of life. I love that. Yes, please. So we have one changing line. That means we have a second hexagram, an outcome hexagram, a relating hexagram, a victory hexagram. What does that mean? Do we have, because of the sixth position, 
we have hexagram 34 great power. Wow. So combination of 14 possession of greatness and great power. Okay, this is a power combo. This is a greatness combo right there. Great power as a hexagram gives us this idea of this whirling of force that we have, a strength to plow through, okay, to push through. So we'll find this week we get a lot of energy to get stuff done, okay. Strength, okay, power, oh, okay, we push through it. But we can overdo it, okay. Power that's taken too far, that's not checked. I often talk about this idea with this hexagram of being able to read the room, okay. How are people responding to this moment, all right? doesn't mean you stop pushing forwards with your power, but you just temper it a little bit based on how you are responding and how people are responding in the room, what is happening around you, and just making sure that we don't take our power and this wonderful energy we have to push and turn it just too far and cause injury. Injury to ourselves, injuries to the other. We don't want to be a bully with this energy. And there is a risk that we can bully others because we have so much power we don't know what to do with. Okay, and we can just, just completely run over everybody in our path in our absolute blind mission to get where we need to go. So like all things in life, temperance and moderation, absolutely vital. And we have in this week this most dynamic and interesting and blessed Power and greatness, okay. Strength to push through. Wealth to support us, okay. Wealth mindset, abundance consciousness. Overcoming our poverty consciousness. Overcoming our fear of our power. Finding a way of pushing through what needs to get done without overdoing it, without underdoing it. We have the authority, the green light to use our power this week, to use our abundance consciousness. Just don't take it too far. Thank you so much. Enjoy the week and all the power and the blessings that the I Ching is asking us to pay attention to. Please like or share, okay, if this is meaningful to you. Subscribe, hit the bell button or hit the follow button if you're on the podcast and I look forward to seeing you in our next weekly overview. And don't forget to go and watch the monthly overview that has just come out. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.